and if you want to simplify this is what indices so you have to follow it like this so look at this one some law of indices that may uh, you are going to make use of it is if you have a raised to power x times a raised to power y so this one will give you a raised to power x plus y then if you have a raised to power x divided by a raised to power y so you have this one as uh, a raised to power x minus y and then if you have a raised to power 1 over x so this one can give you a x so root of this then well let's start first so we see some of the laws that you are going to make use of now what you have here is look at this one so we want to express this one like this so this one as we are seeing this one are x to power 3 n plus 1 is as if you have a raised to power x plus y so what you are going to do is just split you, you split them like that s raised to power 3 n times s raised to power 1 so divided by you do the same thing here s raised to power 2 n so multiply by x raised to power 5 raised to power 2 uh, yeah, raised to power half, 5 over 2 then times now what you have here so you can equally express it like that that's x raised to power 2 n times x raised to power 3 now you can you make use of this one here that is division you can put division here but it's still the same if you make use of this one instead of you instead of uh, using division you make it as minus three so it's still the same thing so let so can follow like that then what you have here again is x raised to power three n times x raised to power one so divided by x raised to power two n times x raised to power five over two times now you want to make use of this one so you are going to remove it like this so you have x raised to power 2 n times x raised to power minus 3 are you, are you following so you put bracket like this raised to power half so if you have half like this if you have this you simply mean uh, a raised to power half uh, yes a raised to power half which is square root a. Then, uh, in law of indices, if you have something like this, like a raised to power x times a uh, b raised to power y, so if this one is in brackets, so raised to power another number. So everything inside the bracket will share this. So that you will have something like this a raised to power x z times b raised to power y z. So that's what you are going to apply. So then you will have s raised to power 3n times s raised to power 1. So divided by x raised to power 2n times s raised to power 5 over 2 times x raised to power 2n times half. Then times what? x raised to power minus 3 times half. So from there <coughs> you have something here so this one can cancel this then you will have now <coughs> well let's have this one let's have this one first x raised to power 3 n times x raised to power 1 so you will have x raised to power 2 n times x raised to power 5 over 2 times x raised to power n so because these two cancel these two then times x raised to power minus 3 over 5 so what you have here 
now is that something is called here is n n n so uh, you want to make it, you want to use this one out together so what you have here is x raised to power 3 n since this is division the line here is sign of division as you know so minus this one 2 raised to power n then divide by this one also minus n so times x raised to power 1 so minus 5 over 2 that's for the number then minus minus 3 over 2 so here you have the for division is minus then this one has minus minus 5 over 2 so what you have here is x raised to power so you have 3 minus 2 which is 1 1 n then minus n so you have this one as 0 then multiply by x raised to power what 1 minus 5 over 2 plus 3 over 2 <coughs> so you have that uh, let's conclude the remaining here so what you have here is x raised to power 0 times x <coughs> now the, your x here is 2 so uh, if you have 1 here so 2 in 1 you have 2 multiplied by this so you have 2 here then minus so what you have here is 2 into so you will have 5 here 2 plus 3 so what you have here is x raised to power 0 times x raised to power 2 plus 3 is four, is 5 minus 5 so you have 0 divided by 2 which is 0 so anything raised to power 0 is 1 so 1 your answer equal to 1 thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our youtube like and share with your friends